Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to get 10 videos. I sent all of them to GPT-4 to see if it can, at the same time, to see if it can actually watch and understand all 10 videos and describe it to us. What we're going to do is we're going to get these videos, break them down to frames, one per second. We're going to do that for all, all, all the videos, 10 of them total. Not only that, we're going to get these frames and shuffle them. So we are actually going to shuffle them so they're going to be out of order. So we're just going to make it as difficult as we can. You normally wouldn't want to do this, obviously, in a normal use case, but uh, we're going to do it anyway, just to test it out and see how it works. So for this, we're going to have three files. The first file is actually going to process the video frames, uh, meaning it's going to take in a video and it's going to split it into one frame per second. And our next uh, code is going to handle multiple videos from a folder. And then in our final, uh, final, the final function, we're going to actually send it to GPT-4 all at the same time. And we're going to ask uh, if it can generate summaries for each. So let's go ahead and run this and see uh, how it works. So when you, I do want to say that when you're sending, uh, we are sending here uh, something like 60, 70 frames. When you're sending this many frames, it does have a latency before it starts. Uh, responding, even though we, we are using streaming set to true. So it takes about 20, 30 seconds. While we're waiting for this, all the project files for this will be available at my Patreon, at my 1000x masterclass, along with the video on how I coded this. So if you're interested in using AI tools to code fast, this is the perfect masterclass for you. I keep continually adding to it. Currently we have, link will be in the description. So coming back to the code, we are still waiting. So I guess it can take up to a minute. So we do need some acceleration in this regard. I guess we can talk about, oh, here we go. Now it is answering. So frames, so it says the first video. Let's take a look at our videos. So we have videos of a large parking lot. With, uh, we have a video of birds flying. We have a person looking through glasses. We have a fancy car driving on. We have a fancy car, flower, and a person who's holding a cell phone with a globe sim appears, penguins or someplace, and pink tulip in a garden. So we can see this one says, uh, the first one says that uh, the birds are numerous, creating a flock, suggesting themes of nature, freedom, and migration. So this is the birds flying. Close-up views of someone wearing glasses. This is the uh, person in the glasses. They're close-up. Various shots of high-end high cars in a showroom. Birds, possibly seabirds or waterfall perching on wooden posts. This is the birds chilling. A bee or a wasp pollinating a flower. A significant a large parking lot filled with vehicles. This is the uh, cars from a bird's eye view. Scenes of penguins on a snowy landscape. Close-up views of flowers blooming in a garden. It actually missed the two. Uh, surprisingly, I did this before, and it actually got it all right. See, one, the car exhibition, close-up of eyes with glasses, smartphone use. It even said holograph glow projection. Be a beautiful pink tulips. So it, it got all 10 of them right, and even was able to say that it's a white flower, that just, which was really interesting. Because I actually myself thought it was a yellow flower with this, but actually it's a white flower. So overall, I'm impressed, especially since we're shuffling these. As you can see here, we're uh, completely shuffling, I wish we shouldn't. But let's see how this works. Let's dive into the code. But as I said, code files will be available at my Patreon and check out my 1000X masterclass as well. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. And some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses. And my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. Uh, first of all, we need uh, a lot of videos. Uh, I'll be providing these videos as well. And then we need to extract the frames from it. So our first function, first file is video frames, which is a a function called extract frames. We are using OpenCV, which is a requirement, which is which we'll use for video processing. 
So this is going to take a video path and output there uh, and view frames per second one. We initialize the video capture. If the output directory, which is frames, doesn't exist, it's going to create one. Uh, video name, it's going to split the name of the video so that we don't get random names, but actually we name the frames with the name of the video. And then while through, we're going to uh, extract it. And then here, we're going to give it a, a video path. Well, uh, this, this actually is, if you want, this is an example test usage because in reality, we are importing it into processvideos.py file. We give it a video directory. Uh, we read all the video files, output directory is frames, and then for video file and video files, we actually pass that to extract frames. And with the video description, we initialize our open AI. We have a function to decode images into base64. We say the frames folder is going to be frames. Here we convert all the images into base64 and put it into a base64 images list. And then here we import random and I shuffle it. You don't have to, you can comment this out. And when you're testing this code, as you've seen, it has quite a lot of latency when you're dealing with a lot of images, you can actually uncomment this. So this, for example, will only send the first three images. And here we have a function, which, which is gonna have a messages list with a system message of your generating summaries of multiple videos. Describe each video in detail. Feel free to change, feel free to change this. And as the user content, we say these are the frames from the videos, we should say. And we use a lambda map, we map over a lambda function. We're using the image URL type, as this is the convention. And we input the base64 images list, right? Okay. And of course, we call the completions endpoint. We use we are using the latest API. We use stream true. We initialize empty assistance string blank. We loop over a response, which is going to be a generator object. And then we get the content printed and then append it to the response by plus equals. We do convert it to string because the final content is going to be none. Sometimes content can be none. That's why instead of checking for delta here, we should actually check for content. Anyway, but this works. And then we return the assistant and here we just call it. So this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. And if you like this video, consider subscribing as well.